Hey there, everyone. This is Hell Cowling Vip5, and I got 99 lives. That's going to drop today. <laughs> Absurd athletic. Man, like, that was the safe state left is dead back in my, like, Vip4 YouTube run. I had a lot of trouble. Well, Level's got a sequel, but, like, the interesting thing about this sequel is that I actually did meet up here in Vip when I played Vip5 for the first time. That was such a weird, like, moment. I, of course, I am going to struggle at first. Yeah, so basically is that it is a... At some point, there's a recreation. I think the first part here, though, might be new. Anyway, at some point, it just becomes Absurd Athletic, the first, but with ice physics. It's gonna take me a little bit to, like, re-get acquainted, because it has been a hot chicken. I guess you can go here, and then he jumps on you, and it's like, hmm. And it's like, whom? There's only so many things you can do with an orange turtle throwing hammers everywhere. We got Bowser music, though, so you know it's serious. Like, is the best... Oh, so that's solid. Okay, that one block there you can jump up through. The rest of the platform is fine, but that one tile... Think about it carefully before you do something you might react to. There we go. So you do something like that, then you jump on a turtle again. Then you're like here, and you're like, what does even this mean? Then you get to ride a platform. I figured it'd be a good idea to get rid of that before I do something stupid with it. Oh shoot, I think I had the right move, just the wrong timing. Super free. Fearless, so... Uh, oh shoot, nope, I messed it up, I... I... That kind of situation, like, I've encountered it very often playing ROM hacks, especially Japanese ROM hacks for a reason. Every time I feel like I need to relearn what you're actually supposed to do about it. Like, it's not, it's not the easiest thing, because it's very, like, you gotta run, like, against... Whoa. The, the natural incursion of the platform, right? And you gotta get underneath. Like, it's not the easiest thing in the world to... Okay, there we go. Well, that worked. Uh, yeah, you have to go underneath here because of the auto scroll. So you have to squeeze in at some point. I should have aimed a little bit higher. Did it last time, just doing this, basically. Most people. Dang it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, boy. There's something about your speed, but I can't tell what it is. I don't think it's going any faster than like a real carousel. I think it's just the auto scroll that gives that impression. Because I have like maybe two seconds to arrange myself, find a way to get in there. How many moons there are in this background of this level? Because now I'm confused, because this is the second one. There's just a ring of moons surrounding this space station. Dang it. Alright, oh wow, now you're real generous. Okay. Um, did I do that jump too early? I guess so. Good to know, question mark. Oh, that's, that's just rude. See, there I'm too late, but how can I make it not late? Like, how? Well, there I'm just alive. <laughs> so disappointed and still living. Alright, so. I waited pretty much as long as I'm willing. What are you doing there, buddy? Well, yeah, that, yeah, that happened, friend. You're just kind of there, just clogging up the airwaves. So there's a reason to keep that one red Koopa, assuming I don't, like... Ah, uh, but there's a risk, though, because when you jump... Ah, was she... When you jump on a turtle while carrying a shell, sometimes you kill a guy underneath you and you just die. But having a shell would be useful to just kill that guy, so I'm just wondering if it's worth it. Worth the extra risk. Well, I'm dead. S 
sweet becoming invisible there and scaring me platform. That's a pretty sweet move you got. See here, there's always a risk that that happens, but I'm still alive. So I guess I can't complain. Like, it's just, but like, if he's there, I'm just dead, no? Like, otherwise it feels like outright luck. Hmm. I'm doing, but like, I, I can't. Thing is though, after the part with the cannons, like, I think that it's relatively pretty easy to get all the Dagadon, then you get to the second part. Like, this is not a long level. Is the is the happy fun time, good time, juicy fruit here. So what makes a thing pop or not? Oh no. You're just there. Like, why are you just there? Oh, there's another guy just there? I... <laughs> I took a chance, like... <sighs> Uh, I feel like if I had landed on this platform, I would just have died. Uh, wish I knew the rules. Yeah. Oh, no, no! Yeah, this is not well-timed, though. So make it work. Reminder that there's ice physics on everything. Again, I land on a bullet, I don't expect it. Like, so like, I press jump while I'm in the air, but I don't have the big bounce, and I'm not pressing jump when I'm on the ground, so like, I don't jump, and it just throws me out completely. Should I just expect there to be a bullet there every time? Is that something I can realistically expect? If I, technically speaking, if I always do the exact same thing, since this is not a scroller, the same thing will always happen. So maybe? Oh. Yeah, now it's placed really badly in terms of... Oh, uh, man, I was, uh, I was just about to interrupt myself. The guy just fell off. Oh, dude! Oh, man. My interpretation was just... This life was given, man! This was the run! Ah, oh, I just... Badly anticipated. It's just, that's all there is to it. Well, that happens sometimes. Thanks, Ice. I had forgotten about you. Look at that, now it's like super ideal. Stay like that. Shoot, I went way too early. I went way too early. Oh, oh cow, you know better than that. Okay, jump off. I am. Okay, okay, so... Shoot! Well... No! So... This is really unfortunate. Uh, because that means I have to replay things... To... Ah, oh, man, my timing was bad. I need to replay the whole start so that I can get another chance at the VIP coin. That's a pretty cool space to put your dog guy right here. You need to like goad him and then jump on him while he's in midair. And all right, well, looking forward to replaying it. So big difference with the original one here that I can't help but 
notice is kind of a thing. The game doesn't give you a cake for free. Uh-oh, this is scary. Uh, yeah, gonna aim right for the hole in between. That's what I do. That's my special move. <laughs> I keep doing it all the time. It's super weird. Oh, I'm so mad. Well, I'm not really mad. You can tell I'm not really mad. But I am so annoyed that the Dagadon trap, man, like, it's like, it's so whatever. So, oh, shoot, now my timing was all dead. Jump too early. Early, I'm so bad at, like, like interpreting these. I. That has been true ever since I started playing games, and I've never been better at it. Thank you, Ice. I was focusing up there, and... Oh, that part is so confusing. Timing. Too early again. I just, I see the switch, and I jump. Like, I, it's, it's bad. It's bad. I'm not adapting. I, what can I say, man? Like, when I say it's bad, it's me. Like, my- my action is bad. My... Not the game. Whatever. Ice physics. It's fun. It's fun for the whole family. No, what? Oh, I didn't- Ah, oh, weird and awkward. Oh, there you go. Super fast? What? How does that work? Every time. What I think I should just do to keep my internal line- Because there it feels like it's just the jamming is happening not in my natural rhythm. So what I think I should do is instead do a short hop and then so I can jump again. Just so that I can act on my own rhythm. And thus uh, play in a way that feels more natural for me. like that. Uh, wait, that's... Okay, whatever, I don't know. Again, new screen, new thing. Uh, I'm not sure. What can I- like, I can't- I- Like, my windows is kinda small, and I can't focus on both the top side and the bottom side at once. I completely lost my rhythm here. So I have to land on a middle one, but then I have to, like, jump immediately. I, I keep forgetting when I tell myself what to do here. It's great. moment sweet just fantastic sweet great sweet great good but that's the end of the switch parade you know that's good to have confirmed I guess you need to aim for the middle that uh, cow okay. it's not hard Doesn't matter how the switches look like they are, or like they look, look like they, how it's looking like how they're gonna be. You play that section enough by now. Just aim for the middle. Don't look at how they're at. Like that's the worst way you can play this level, is to base yourself on your eyeballs. This is not how this level works. Well, you can base yourself on your eyeballs for certain things, but... Not all things. 
it's, it's easy. Oh, this is just mean. Um, well, yeah, I went too early. There's myself on the moving wheel. So, but yeah, it made me go way too early, and it's like the very start of the level. Well, the middle of the start of the level. I know what I mean. Oh. Yeah. Okay, oh, that is some very nice placement for the most part. What? Did I not land on a gray platform? Did I not land on a gray platform? Like, it's possible I didn't because I was not looking exactly around Boon there, but... Wow, if that's the case, I am full of self-disappointment there. Like, truly. I thought I jumped a bit early there, but... So going for the middle. Hot. Yeah, you need to not look at the game with your eye. Like, how- The same thing happened, where I feel like I'm centered on the gray, but then I look up and I'm like, way more on the left than I feel is natural. Am I overcompensating way more without realizing it, or is there like something weird happening? Like, I'm gonna assume it's the former, but uh, it's very strange. Man, now it's astonishing how easy this feels. Yeah, no, look how terrible the circle is placed. Like, the problem is that. Like, how... I, I can't jump through and then jump back on. Um... So is this only possible at certain times when it's rightly placed? Like, I hope not. I'm surprised, like, as soon as I figured it all out, how super easy the Switch part now is. Like, I don't... Like, it's weird. Like, the trick, I guess, is you need to not play it on reaction, as far as I... I I'm, I'm sure some people can do it on reaction, and, like, that's amazing, and that's awesome. But I've basically boiled it down to... Uh, I'm mostly listening, and it's just that, yeah, here you wait, listen, and you jump three times, then position here, then I look up there, here you wait, look until I see him jump now, now I just do this rhythm until I get to this part, there we go, now it's just this rhythm that's always the same, here I can wait, when it's up there, jump in the middle, rhythm, rhythm, it's all just nailing that magic rhythm. Oh, I, I think it would have, but I feel like if I had done that, I th would I be too early though? Like, I don't know, because like, ah, uh, it's the fact, it's the fact that you run out of platforms if you go too early. It makes me wonder if I go too early still. Uh, I just, I don't know about that aspect of that level, but I mean, if it's like anything else, uh, once you understand the rhythm, it's actually... Pretty simple. See, there- ooh. This, though. That's the end, too. I think what I need to do is bounce there and then, like, veer slightly and go in between them. Like, that's- yeah, that's pretty absurd, in terms of what you demand a player to do. And it's the last thing you gotta do, so that's... Hey, you know what? Level gotta stay true to its name. I'm not sure how to... Do, now maybe what you should do is try to find a way to do a running jump underneath them from the gray platform. Is that possible to do? Yeah, see here, it's a lot of... Hmm... I... I don't think that's possible. If it weren't an auto-scroll and I could keep my momentum, I think it'd be doable. But because it's not and I can't, I don't think it's doable.
I, I would have been too, uh, too early anyways, I think. Why'd that guy turn around? Because a guy fell on him, making him turn around. So if I, if I, oh boy, okay. But like, that squeeze I had to do there, like that is, that's a one in 20, man. Um, can I, do I think I can do that regularly enough? For that to be dependable. Uh, I feel like the answer is no, but I don't see what else I could do. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, oh, you know what? Gonna refarm for lies, refuel, clear my head a little bit. <sighs> Doing dumb mistakes like that. No, that thing where I bop on an enemy can't work because the only reason why I lived through bopping through it that way is because I didn't hold any jump buttons. Like, I can't hold a jump button, otherwise I'm gonna bounce up on a guy above, so I don't think that's gonna work. Why is nothing timed the same now? This, seriously, the slight break it took to farm for life destroyed my internal timing of this level that quickly. It went from I just kind of could do it without thinking to now I'm struggling to the basic parts again. Because boy howdy, is that helping my morale. Okay, so you can do that reliably. Well, all right then. I just had a complaint and then everything went all right. <laughs> I can't believe that works though. I guess that's how you're supposed to do it. What a mean little trickery D at the end. Uh, all right, I'm gonna I'm go and get some feathers and easy moto my way through the Dagadons. Uh, because I, uh, because man, that fourth one, no, yeah, 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 just, you know, erase your mind and submit yourself to emptiness and everything's gonna be alright. Everything's gonna be okay. Wait a second, thinking about it, like... I don't think bringing a cave was a good idea. Oh, it'd be so useful for the last thing. But, like, I'm so used to being able to, like, hold a jump button to go from enemy to enemy and stuff, right? Yeah, this is the old ballast method of making it through hard jumps. Uh, really? How clumsy can I get? Very. I can get very clumsy. That is your answer. <laughs> hey, like the good old days. Go away, please. Um, no! I don't want that to happen. That's scary. Go away, or just... Okay, you know what? It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good! It's all good. Everything is good in the world, okay? You can't tell me otherwise! <sighs> So relieved, a strange, weird object just erupted from my mouth. Don't worry, I don't think it's a tooth. <laughs> 